what's happening, man? It's your boy Papa Dog. You already know what time it is. Back with another one. You feel me? Like, comment, subscribe if you already did that. Also, check out our link. Again, I can't thank y'all enough. All proceeds that y'all purchase of our merch, the shirts, hats, whatever, all proceeds go back to the channel. That's how we help spread the message. And also, if you want to promote your company or a book or a clothing line, whatever you want to promote on this channel, go to Papa Dog Promo at gmail.com now listen um they just had this bill right they passed they trying to introduce this bill in california i don't know if you've seen it yet probably have where mothers could i don't want to use the word k-i-l l but mothers could terminate their children seven and some say seven to 28 days after birth meaning it's basically like giving them permission to commit a killing my thing is this i just did a video yesterday about this and i'm not laughing because it's funny i'm laughing because i'm showing y'all that these people are introducing a whole new lifestyle that caters to their agenda us as people right how in the hell could we allow that to happen this will blow my mind you know what i'm saying like where the line draw where you where they draw the line at to where we say you know what how are we gonna continue to let these people govern us i don't get it People have so much shit to say, but yet we all sit back and don't do nothing about it. Now, the first thing a person gonna say, well, what can we do? It's a lot we could do. First of all, we need to understand it's us against them. A lot of barriers that you gotta break first. You gotta get over the, uh, the these different phobias of, of socialism, different levels of socialism. Um, or, or dividings because a person ain't driving the kind of car you drive to me they ain't they not on your level it's just a fucking car you don't live in the house you live most people renting houses and got more rooms than they got people living in the house which is basically you buying more real estate or you paying for real estate that you're not using we need to get rid of all these different differences and come together these people are organized we're not as people how the fuck can we allow a bill to be passed where a mother, and they say a father, <laughs> they say a mother, catch that too, that's why I say words or spells. You have to catch all the words, the verbiage that a mother could decide to get rid of their child seven to 28 days after birth. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. And, I, and, and, I, and, and the reason why I say this, and I'm going to always say this when I speak on religion, is because these, these people, they so religious. Right? I believe in the most high. I know man ain't make the sun or the moon. I'm not stupid or crazy. But people be so wrapped up in religion to, well, my thing be this. When you're going to start fighting for the God you believe in? Like, don't just be talking or don't just follow suit with what people say you should and shouldn't do you should better put yourself on the front line and say this ain't right for my god this ain't right what y'all doing you don't see that though see these people have developed strategies to get those who have the influence over the church over the children they use rappers they use actors they use political figures they use um, athletes they use everything in the in the arsenal to keep your mind going this way and forget about what's going on over there and let me give you an, an example of how powerful that is you see me and people like me we're just small people trying to put message messages out there to start the process of the awakening but we're going up against Fox News television Disney, uh, Time Warner, we're going up against all the record companies, 
We're going up against all the radio stations. We're going up against all the TV stations, news outlets, uh, articles, magazines. Everything you know, we are going up against that. How can we defeat that? These people got way more power to distract you than, than, than what you think. The reason you get up out of bed is because of them. They told you to sleep in the bed. They said eat breakfast. They said go to work. They said pay car insurance. They said do this, do that. Everything you're doing, they the one told you to do it. God ain't tell you to do it. Romans 13, 1 and 2 says in the Bible, when you disobey government, you're disobeying God. How in the fuck can they put government and God in the same light? You got to start using your common sense. And this is how they can do shit like this. Pass these different bills. And you think like, oh yeah, this is... See, I don't get into it with people's religion. I just try to show you something. See, one thing about me, I don't care what it is. I'm past the flesh. I'm not afraid of nothing. And that's what I am afraid of. That I'm not afraid of nothing. You can't tell me no anything. You get what I'm saying? I'm past that. God gave me common sense. Okay? You ain't ran across this video for nothing. Or people like me for nothing. You get what I'm saying? And all I'm saying is this. Until we can break these differences in religion. Because another thing, if, if you don't believe in what another person believe in, you're an outcast. Oh, yo, oh, you, you don't believe in this. Oh, you... You, you, that's why I say, you know, I don't, those groups and cults and this and that, I just be like, if you're not of their agenda, you're not about their agenda, you're an outcast. That don't make sense. I'm for what's right. I don't give a damn what you believe in. That's a difference. I'm for what's right. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. Yes means yes. No means no. That's what I teach my kids. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. Yes means yes. No means no. Simple. Anything outside of that and all that wishy washy, man, ain't no none of that. These people gonna continue to control us because they have us here. They've collected all the data. They know what makes you hungry, what chemicals makes you. Um, they even put in, and I did a video about this. They even figured out a way to put uh, nanobots in in our foods, and they say that it's killing the insects without using pesticides. But actually, they're able to manipulate that technology to make it to where they can attack a certain group of people, which are African Americans. They can attack black folks. And this food will make you, um, to where you, um, and I hate when I get like this too. Basically, what it does is it stops you from being um, fertile. Okay? This technology can be geared towards blacks to where you cannot reproduce. And see, when you tell people stuff like this, they think you crazy. The CIA invented the word conspiracy. Why? Because they want people like me and others and you to think that you crazy. But like I tell y'all, in the end of the movie, that motherfucker who everybody thought was crazy in the end of the movie turned out to be the only one right. Because that's the only person that was thinking outside the box. Everybody else. They're just going along with what's going on. They're they following the herd. I told y'all what a herd is. When you follow the herd, you give up what you think and believe and trust in. And you go with what they believe and trust in. So you give up your... your. It's just like taking... Like, don't even take my word for stuff. You know what I'm saying? Do your own research. But if we got that connection and you... You know what? Don't tell you no BS. Then okay, fine. But like I tell people, even with, with religion... When you accept a religion without seeking the truth or, 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 or researching, then you give up that notion to know the truth. You forfeit that. Man, I don't know what it is about religion and people wanting to know the truth, but that alone is scary. Like they say, shut up and follow tradition. On your TV screen is telling lies to your vision. And all this brainwash shit that they, they got us watching. But my thing is this. We need to come together on some level. Because to be able to pass a bill to where a mother could do that is crazy. 
you have to be inhumane. You have you have to be some somewhat a satanic ass person to even be okay with this type of shit. You can't say I believe in the most high or I believe in God and I'm okay with this. If you ain't okay with it, it's enough people that that's religious enough to say we ain't for this and go against it. Man, we we sheeple, man. That's how they see us. Sheeple. You don't even know how to. I told y'all they got rid of the King Castle and Capitol Hill and all that shit. They got rid of the castle and the king and queen because you can point and say those people in that castle are the ones that's dictating us as peasants as they see us. So they got rid of the castle, the king and the queen and all that, and they gave us government. Government is just hundreds of layers of authority. If you had an issue with the government right now, you don't know where to start to file a complaint. So it scrambles your thought. It makes you, like you'll never meet the owners of Gucci. All this is by design. Shit, you ain't never met the president, but you let him dictate your life. And y'all vote for that shit. So I keep telling y'all, when you... This is how they see it. I, wish, I keep saying I wish I'm going to run across this saying they have. But basically, when you go ask for, 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 for when you go ask for help, you're basically saying, I want to be ruled. I want to be told what to do. I want to be governed. This is how they see it. Now, they coerce you to do this by fixing this matrix to be what they want it to be in order for people like, you know, regular people to have to come to them for assistance. They set this shit up, man. This shit is a setup. Man, God ain't. If you think God intended for us to live this way, you're a damn fool. And get out my face with that shit. Don't come to me with that shit. I don't really care how nobody feel about that because it's just common sense, bro. We running out of time. We ain't got, I ain't got time for the playing with you. God ain't intended us for to do this. This is man's doing this. Robots and shit. How the fuck we going to be okay with these people creating robots? Robots that's going to take our jobs. Robots that's going to be nannies to your children. And in some and in some cases, sex objects to your husbands and wives. Like, they got TV shows, which is the, which I told y'all that's called um, predictive programming. Look it up. Why do they show these things? Because they want to massage this shit in your mind. Something for you to look forward to. So once we reach that point, it comes to pass and you don't even know it. Cause the world ain't just ready for you to just drop it on them like that. And I did get some inside stuff on some stuff. I'm gonna just throw this out there. They planning this alien attack thing in, in order to speed the process up. Now I'm gonna probably be the first one to tell you this. I'm probably not. So if you ever hear something about it and it come up, you can say that Papa does said that shit. <laughs> Papa does said that shit. And they're gonna use this alien attack crap to speed the process up, to speed things up. But anyway, man, I just wanted to draw that on y'all. You feel me? Like I always tell y'all, man, you know I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? I do. And I want you to enjoy your life. I want you to enjoy your kids. But I'm telling y'all, man, we need to get away from this stupid ass European ass uh, dictatorship. Because these people have a whole nother agenda. And if you look around, every, the crazy part about it is everything you know they taught us. What you call fun, what you call a vacation, food. It's crazy, the programs that they done installed in us and uploaded in us. And like I say, when, you, when something come up and you're uncomfortable about it, it's only because you don't have a program in your mind to support it. So, like, you see other people in other countries eating different types of foods. You're like, oh, I can't eat that. They said the same thing about you. They see you eating, like, when my sisters first came from Haiti about three years ago. When my sisters came from Haiti about three years ago for the first time, and um, I was just rushing to get over there. Um, I had been seeing them on pictures, like, all my life, but I haven't never met them. I'm rushing them. My, my dad was like, Stop by and get them something to eat. They want to eat. So I just stopped by Popeye Chicken. I'm going to be honest. I grabbed them some Popeye Chicken. When I got there, 
Listen, they were looking at that chicken like, like, a, like, like a fake ass hundred dollar bill. They wouldn't eat it. They wasn't immune to it. Big ass chicken, and, and normally I wouldn't have got them no chicken no shit like that. But it was a lesson in that. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I say everything is a lesson. Never look at shit as something bad. Look at it and see what you can learn from it. What I learned from that is cultural differences. My sisters wouldn't eat that shit. They wouldn't, they wouldn't eat it. They wouldn't even eat the french fries. Yeah, we told them it's chicken. But they never seen chicken like that before. They wouldn't eat it. So what I'm telling you is... You are, you are susceptible to the shit that's introduced to you or programs are downloaded into you. To get you to say, I want, I'll go for this, they have to implement this into your your, your daily routine or, or implement this into your life or implement this into something that you see that people are doing for you to say, okay, I'm, either you okay with it or at least you familiar with it. But in other countries, they're like, you could do what? When a baby's born, seven, eight, they be like, hell no, they never heard of it. It don't exist. See, but over in America, they just slowly but surely push it on you. The shit that you might think never gonna happen, in the future you're gonna see it. And this is what I'm trying to get y'all to understand, how the brain works. It only takes 21 days to develop a habit. You know what I'm saying? And these people control everything around you. All the ways that you consume information. I told y'all, what are those? Eyes, nose, mouth, ears, smell, like touch and smell, whatever. You consume information all these ways. And in all those different ways, they make sure the shit you eat, see, touch, smell, familiar with, and all that, is manipulation. And it's also a way to get you to go the direction that they want you to go. So, look up the bill. They're introducing it in um, California. Um, and, um, yeah, this shit real. I say do your research, man. And they all, they already got it where if you as a person want to say, I don't want to live no more, you can legally go pay because everything is about money. I told you, uh, business is your father, religion is your mother. <laughs> They actually, these cocksuckers actually got a way where you can go pay to kill yourself. Anyway. Crazy. But like I always tell y'all, man, in order for you to be found, you must first be lost. And they've done a damn good job by making sure that we all are lost. So, like I said, I love y'all, man. Until the next video, I'll get up with y'all. I'm out.